Lemonade for sale. I got lemonade for sale. Lemons, fresh lemons. Anybody want fresh lemons? <laughs> What's going on YouTube? This your guy Mills and Fragrantly Locked. If you're here for the first time, please hit the like and subscribe button. And also please hit the notification bell as it'll let you know the next time I drop a video. Hey guys, so I'm doing something a little different today. I actually just invested in myself and upgraded the camera. So if you guys see me looking all over this way, that way, and trying to figure out things with the adjustment as far as with the focus, please excuse me, but you guys actually, I'm a work in progress. I'm under construction at the moment, guys. But I'm still filming and I want to get this content out to you. Spring is right around the corner. We literally have five days, five days until spring. Oh my God, wow. So guys, don't worry. You got Mills got you covered. It is my job to get you guys prepared for the spring slash summer. So these next few videos, I want to dedicate a series strictly to spring fragrances. Kicking off our spring series is going to be Cartier Declarations Hawk Fresh Sheer. Okay, first thing you're going to notice, guys, on this bottle is the security clamp. Security clamp is just used just to make sure that you don't spray in case if it's in an area like luggage or if it's in your like in a woman's purse or anything of that sort. This is what this is here for. Second thing you're gonna notice, guys, is the, the automizer. Spray's pretty dang on good. Third thing you guys are gonna realize is probably the juice. The juice is like a blue, sea green type of tint to it. So I wanted to take some time today and actually sit down with this fragrance. I sprayed it earlier once it came in the mail and I let it sit on me for a while. As I was going through the progression of everything, I was actually jotting down notes about how I felt about the fragrance and the notes that came to me throughout the duration of the fragrance being on me. And I must say the first time I sprayed on my skin, you get this very loud citrus that just punches you right in the nose. It's, it's beautiful, don't get me wrong, but it just hits you right in the nose right away. Whoa, settle down, lemon grease. So after the citrus opening, I did get some spice in. So I'm assuming that sweet and that spice was that cardamom popping in. As it dries down, I get the slight woodiness from it. But as I mentioned before, this fragrance is very subtle and very unnoticeable. And it could be because the temperature today was about 55, 60 in Michigan. With these fresh fragrances, you have to rock them in warmer weather for the chemistry to do what it needs to do. However, if you want to get noticed with this is definitely not the one as it settles very, very close to the skin and it's honestly very unnoticeable this one is very hard to overspray unless if at the beginning like i said that big citrus opening and someone will have to be close to you for you to choke them out but this is nearly impossible to do so i'm gonna keep it a buck with you i like this fragrance but i'm not impressed at all i know it's the edu toilet however during the fourth hour this fragrance is barely noticeable on my skin like i said before this could definitely have a lot to do with the weather so I'm gonna retry this one again once the weather gets about 75, 80. Last thing I wanna do is hype you up on the fragrance. I wanna give you guys honest reviews. I'm here first and foremost to give you guys honest reviews. So last thing I wanna do is lie to you and say, oh, this is the best thing in the world, guys. This is the best thing in the world. No, it's cool. It's it's all right. But, you know, it, I'm just not impressed. In conclusion, if you're looking for a super subtle office fragrance, then this may be the one for you. But if you're looking to get noticed or if you're looking to have a strong silage, which I know that is very few far in between with fresh fragrances, then you may want to look towards something else. If you are looking for this fragrance, you can find it at all major retailers like Neiman Marcus, Macy's, or wherever they sell it. Uh, for the 1.7 ounce bottle, it's going to be $76. And also for the bigger 3.0 ounce, it's going to be about 106 bucks, give or take. And per usual, guys, I'm going to leave you with a quote. Honesty has a power that very few people can handle. Stephen Atchison. You guys have been rocking with Mills and Fragrantly Locked. Peace.